Hi guys, so today if you couldn't tell I'm filming in the wilderness which is so exciting because I don't do this often because it always kind of fails on me but there's the dog over there and she's eating grass and the cat's over there and the grill's on and there are people going on over there and the fountain behind me and there are crows everywhere. It's pretty distracting but I have my May favorites here for you guys and I actually have a lot of stuff so I'll just hop right in to this. This is the Pacifica Coconut Crushed Pearl Lotion and it's like a bronzing lotion like it's not one of the ones that like gradually builds up your tan but it just makes you look tan to begin with which is awesome because Meredith is kind of a snowball year round. No big deal. I just I like to be pale. Just kidding. I don't. It sucks. Um, so I like this because it makes my legs look tan so I put it on every day. Shout out to Brandon Clement because I know you've been wanting that. I just made your day and I know. I know. You're probably crying right now. Anyway I've been really liking this because it makes me look tanner than I actually am, but it's our secret, so you can't tell anybody. Pinky promise. So, as I'll move on to face stuff. So, the first thing I've been loving is my Rimmel London Natural Bronzer. And this is not the best, but it's not also not the worst. It kind of, you kind of have to swish your brush around a lot to get the color. Just a basic bronzer, your basic bronzer. I wear the shade Sunlight because I'm pale we've already covered that um, so it's not the best not the worst it works well enough for me because I don't like to pretend I'm snooky or anything so just I sort of brush this over my whole face and do a little bit more contouring with it in the morning but so I've been liking that and then also I've been using this little pan I got in my ipsy bag this is the yabby um, concealer in buff and it's just a basic pale person concealer. Again, covered that. And I really like it because it gives really good coverage. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm kind of breaking out right now, like final stress and all. Oh, hi, Roxy. But um, it just, it's really good at covering up everything really nicely. Now there are leaves falling on me. I don't like the out Hi. I don't like the outdoors. I don't. Roxy's right here if you can't tell that's who I'm patting but I really like this because it gives really really good coverage like it really does cover up everything that I need it to and it really helps even out my skin tone and redness so I've been loving this hi and then moving on to eyes I have been I don't know if this was in my last favorite video but I have been loving using a gel eyeliner stop <laughs> for my top for my top lash line and so the one I like to use is the Micah Beauty Cosmetics Gel Eyeliner and I don't know if y'all can tell but I have been like digging into this and it's a hot mess right now so I have been loving this and I just use it with with, with I use it with an eyeliner um, with a straight eyeliner brush and I have been loving the way this looks and then also I have been using this is in a different pot than the one it came in but I this is an NYX loose um, pigment and it's just a really pretty like light pink bronzy color that's really good for eyeshadow or for highlighting your cheekbones and the high points of your face so I will swatch it for you guys and that's what it looks like I don't know if y'all can see that but it's just like a really light pinky bronzy color and it's really pretty so I've been really liking this and also I have been loving the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express it like my lashes like explode and they look awesome my mom thought I was wearing false eyelashes but I don't know why because I don't even have false eyelashes she's crazy but the brush I I just like the big fat brushes and this one is no exception and it hardly ever clumps and it just gives really really awesome volume the only hard part is it makes my lashes like really brittle and like crispy but I mean I think all I should um mascaras do that so it's not really a big thumbs down but it's actually a thumbs up because I really like that mascara so I've been really liking that and then I have four lip products which is crazy but the first one I'm actually wearing today it's the juice beauty lip gloss in pink and this you would it looks kind of dark for spring but actually it's it's such an awesome formulation because it literally, it's so light. It doesn't feel like sticky or heavy. 
or creamy it feels like you're sort of putting water on your lips but that's it right there it's like a really light pinky mauve color that looks really natural on me so I've been really liking this and then I've been loving bright colored lip glosses so the first one I have is my MAC lip gloss in pink lemonade and it's just a really pretty bright coral that I will swatch for you all I have been loving this like the MAC lip glosses aren't my favorite because they are kind of heavy and sticky but I just love this color so I've been really liking that and then I have two like lipsticky sort of products so the first one is a Maybelline color whisper in the shade cherry on top and this is just a crazy hot pink that is super great for spring like look at that that is crazy crazy it looks a bit redder like in the tube but on it's more of like a pinky blue undertone pink so I've loved using that and then the second thing I have is another Maybelline product and this is their color sensational vivids lipstick this is like the only lipstick I have and will wear on a more regular basis than for dance recitals because I'm not a lipstick person because I think I don't know I just don't like lipsticks I'll go for like a lip tint or like a lip gloss but I just love the color of this this is in shocking coral and it is so pretty it uh, I just I can't get enough of it and this is so bright and I'm not look look it's like fluorescent like it's fluorescent oh these two look a lot the same but this one is definitely like a heavier more pigmented sort of thing but I just usually like dab it on my lips which creates like a really awesome matte effect because I don't want to go crazy with the color for school because people would be like whoa blinded by my lipstick and stuff which wouldn't be the worst thing that could happen but I mean probably wouldn't be the best so the last thing I have here is a nail polish that I'm shaking so you guys can see the color because it kind of separated but this is actually a five below nail polish it's fresh paint in the shade papaya and it's just a really really pretty um, nail polish it's like a corally papaya nail polish it actually like these two go together like best friends forever here so I have also been loving that and that is it for my favorites this month so I hope you guys like this video if you did you can give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys oh also subscribe definitely that's probably a good idea also if you like these videos you can subscribe or you can watch more they might show up over this way or something but if you subscribe you'll see these videos every single month not that I make them every month, I make them every couple of weeks. This is such an awkward outro. Extro, outro, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to stop talking right now, but I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are, and I will see you next time. Bye. Um, picked up, and then it's not always, oh, hey, Mom, how you doing? Yo. You know what's really annoying? I started this video, and then I realized I wasn't even in focus. Like, the camera was too low, and it was cutting off half of my face. Yeah.